you know, McClung takes a shot that, you know, could have gone in, but, but, but doesn't. Well, I might be wrong, but I think Derek challenged it. I, I thought we had, we had pretty good ball pressure on him. And I thought Derek, Derek stepped up and challenged, uh, which kind of made him throw a little higher than he wanted to, I think. I have to look at the film to make sure, but I, I think that's what happened. No, we just wanted to give Deuce a head of steam and, and clear a side for him. Uh, if he got stopped, then Taz was supposed to circle around behind and hopefully they, they all collapsed on Deuce and, and Taz would have got a shot or if Deuce uh, couldn't get couldn't turn the corner, jump out of bounds, and that's why we subbed in JB. He's been shooting it really well and had him in a corner. So we really, we had three options. Um, the first one was the one we really wanted and, and, and Deuce did a great job. And then the other, the rest of the conversation was about getting back, don't do what we did against Texas, get back. Charles Montgomery. Coach, this team goes down by 12 uh, with under about 10 minutes to play. What does it talk about this characteristic of this team to fight back late and eventually pull out the win? Well, we went 10 for 10. We went 10 for 10 down the stretch. I mean, that you go 10 for 10 down the stretch, you're going to win a bunch of games. Um, we finally made shots. You know, we had, we had opportunities. We, we missed free throws. We... You know, we turned it over. We just, we were our own worst enemy for the first, uh, what, maybe 30, 32 minutes. And uh, and then the ball started going in for us. And it's, you know, it's a crazy thing. Once it starts going in, it, it has a tendency to keep on going in. And it was different people. Uh, I thought uh, uh, Gabe set a great screen for, for uh, Sean when we were when we were running the flat screen on the top for deuce and, and sean was wide open you know and they they gang guard you anyway so we knew that they were going to gang up on whoever whoever drove it into the lane it was just a matter of could we pitch it back go ahead skylar callahan Hey, Coach, you guys have played a number of, of top 10 teams pretty close. How important is it for you guys to get this one uh, and go to go your way and kind of get that first signature win of the season? And, and how can that help your guys moving forward uh, with this brutal uh, stretch you guys got coming up? Well, we played the number one team in the country. We're getting ready to play the number two team in the country twice. Um, I mean, we've had opportunities. It's, it's kind of like today, you know, you can't. You can't miss that many free throws, particularly missing front ends from guys who are good shooters that, that you know, normally go to the free throw line and make shots. Uh, and, and we've got to be more consistent shooting the ball. And, and then we've got to get more out of our post guys. Uh, I, think, I think the time off hurt our post guys more than it hurt anybody. But you know we're you know Emmett gave us great minutes and and uh, I mean he's he's lost 18 pounds I believe um, we got to get him back you know uh, I don't want to say healthy because he's healthy but get some weight back and some strength back and uh, JB's making shots for us we've just got to you know we've just we we've, we've got to kind of get it going again get guys back in shape we're not in very good shape we struggled. We struggled with uh, with wind. A lot of our guys, we had to substitute a lot just because guys were out of wind. But you know, you go you go 14 days and, or 15, whatever it was, and and you don't run up and down. You you're gonna be tired. Kevin Kinder, coach, you mentioned shooting and. Uh, Looking better at that, scoring 88 points against Texas Tech and its defense. Obviously, you're doing something right. I know you've mentioned a threshold of passing, moving the ball. Uh, how much of that was in play? But then down the stretch, obviously, you know, Deuce just kind of taking over the game. Is that the difference? About the end of the game, we wanted Deuce to take over the game. We want, you know, we wanted him to to draw the defense and pitch it, which. Sean hit that big three force whenever Deuce did that, and then Deuce did the rest on his own. But uh, I mean, 
we we gave up 40 some points in the paint again we, we can't do that you know we just we didn't rebound the ball at the offensive end. We've been just staying and watching. We haven't really pursued the ball the way we normally pursue the ball. We got a lot of things to clean up, but if we get those things cleaned up and stop turning it over, and we just make dumb turnovers sometimes, you know, just dumb turnovers, we, we got to cut those out. We cut those out. I mean, we can beat anybody. You know, I mean, for, for what anybody wants to say or think, we're we're a block charge call away from uh, having the ball having the ball with um, uh, down one against against Gonzaga, you know. So people say what they want. I mean, you know, and the difference is we're not afraid to play people. So you know, our schedule has been has been very good. Even you know the teams that that. We brought in here the bye games. Those those guys are good. I mean, we've had we've had good teams, and we haven't brought in bad teams. I think next year we probably should. It should be a lot easier on my heart. Over to Keenan Cummings. Bob, you mentioned JB as a guy that was going to stretch the floor and, and do some things for you. Last two games, twenty nine points. Is this what you envisioned? Uh, whenever whenever the shakeup happened. Yeah, I mean, we got to get him to rebound it a little bit more, uh, which he's very capable of doing as well. But yeah, that's it's exactly what I envision. Justin. Hey, Coach, um, defensively, uh, this game was obviously completely different from the game he played on on Saturday. Obviously, opponent has a lot to do with that, but. Uh, just the fact that, you know, if you look at the box score, the stats of this game, this is, um, you know, I, I, what does it say about this team being able to win a style of game like this? And then also a second question, how many different things did you try to do uh, on, on McClung? Uh, it seemed like uh, maybe you switched off some guys on him. Uh, just, you know, how difficult was he to guard tonight? You know, he's hard to guard. He's, um, I mean, guys, we had a lot of guys on because we were switching ball screens. So just about everybody on the floor tried to guard him. And then as far as just being able to win a style of game like this, this isn't usually your guys' style of play, but to be able to win this kind of style, what's that say about you guys? Well, Justin, it's kind of like I said. I mean, we we could have, should have, you know, have another couple wins. Uh, a block charge away from uh, from from the, in the Gonzaga game, uh, you know, uh, a, a stop or a missed shot the, the Texas game. And we we've been in position to win. Other than the Kansas game, the Kansas we've been in a position to win every game. And we'll finish up tonight with Mike Kazaza. Hey, Bob, I know the lineups have been changed a little bit because of the layoff, but um, Jordan's given you good minutes at the point spot, and it's kind of looked like it's it's moved deuce off the ball, and you've gotten Taz in the in the starting lineup there. You're winning. Does does that give you something to think about as far as moving forward with the lineup? Well, a lot of it has to do with matchups. A lot of it has to do with how they practice. We gotta stop turning it over, man. Point guards aren't supposed to turn it over. We gotta start stop turning it over. And uh, you know, I I I, I told uh, I told Gabe, you know, if you want to handle the ball, I would like for you to handle the ball because you handling the ball, I think, is advantageous for us to be able to draw bigs away from the goal. But you can't throw it away every time you have every time you pass it. And, and he knows that. I mean, you know, these are good guys, man. They're good guys, and they they know they know that you know knowing and and fixing it is going to take some work. 